Built between 1972 and 1975 in Cornwall, Connecticut, House 6 is the second built work of architect Peter Eisenman. Eisenman came up with the idea using a conceptual design process starting with quite a simple grid. He shifted the different lines in the grid to create four separate spaces where these planes intersect. This was his way of visibly showing off the design process in the shape of the building, giving it the feeling of something just as sculptural and artistic than architectural. In this interview, he talks about his philosophy as an architect. The humanist view of functionalism, social practicality, you know, making people happy or integrating people has never led to anything radical, number one. He has purposely ignored the idea of reform following function. This mindset for him led to bland, uninteresting architecture. House 6 was his way of objectifying his ideas for the world to see. The house was constructed from Douglas fir timber, using simple post and beam joining techniques. However, some columns play absolutely no structural role in the building, and are simply there for design purposes. These interconnected beams and columns pictured disrupt the living and dining areas to the point where the house becomes uncomfortable to live in. Another example of this is in the bedroom, where there is a glass slot in the centre of the wall that divides the room in two, forcing couples to sleep apart from each other. Eisenman actually goes out of the way to make the client adapt to the building. As you can imagine, the building is being quite heavily critiqued for its extreme stance against pragmatism. Eisenman's client, Suzanne Frank, was asked about her experience of living in the house five years on from its final construction. Frank enjoys living in the space with all its quirks, curiosities and fabulous light. The house was poorly constructed, however, and within a few years, the author found herself reconstructing it, almost from scratch. In this, she had precious little assistance from the architect. To him, the design was pure, its failings irrelevant. Eisenman sees no fault in the construction as it only relates to the function of the building and says nothing about the form. It is difficult to judge the success of such a structure because of its lack of identity. From a basic construction standpoint, clearly it has failed. But if you look at it as a piece of art or sculpture that is intended to provoke thought, then it succeeds in questioning a lot of modern ideas as well as being revolutionary for its time.